Hi, everybody. Um, thanks for coming along to this discussion this morning, which is on uh, teaching and learning in the Dublin School of Architecture. My name is Kevin Donovan. Uh, I lecture in the school on the architecture programmes, and I'm joined today by a number of lecturing staff from the school from the same programmes and from a variety of other programmes. And as I said, we're going to talk a little bit about how our students learn and how we teach them. So I'll start by introducing uh, my colleagues to you. Uh, first of all, we have Miriam Delaney, who lectures on the Bachelor of Architecture program, um, mostly in first year uh, at the moment. Uh, Seema Rahalamin then is next, teaches on the Bachelor of Architecture uh, who and is running fifth year uh, at the moment, at the other end of the scale. Uh, Piers Fahi then teaches on the Architectural Technology program and Alan O'Donnell lectures in Timber Technology. So thank you all very much for coming along uh, today. And I suppose I'd like to start off the discussion at the level of the university. You know, we're, we're an old school, but we're in a new university with lots of new colleagues and it's an exciting time for us. So maybe you have some thoughts on how or what it's like to for students to study and learn in, in uh, a new university. I wonder, Seema, would you have any thoughts on yeah, that to start? Sure. I I think uh, TU Dublin is a great university. It's different to other universities in that it allows um, students from different disciplines at different levels to all teach at university level. So what's really interesting and unique about that and what makes it uh, particularly different uh, to other universities is that mix. So in our own school, for example, we would have uh, timber technology, we would have brick and stone laying, we would have um, you know, architecture, we would have architectural technology, we would have masters. So we have from level seven, level eight, level nine and level 10. So what's really unique about that is the fact that you can, I, I think student experience is one of the main things that makes university experience uh, enjoyable and being with a mix of people, like minded people like that and the fact that they come from different backgrounds with different uh, interests makes learning fun and enjoyable. So I think that's what makes TU Dublin different to other universities as a kind of a destination. Right. That's yeah. right, Tima. It's, it's kind of the variety of um, the programmes and connections students yeah. can, can make. Yeah. Anybody else have any thoughts on that? I might just add to that. Like, I agree with that, Tima. I think the uh, the kind of themes of the university are people, planet and partnership. Mm -hmm. And I think on all three of those levels, um, there's a very direct um, experience that the students get that they might get another yeah. university. I think, for instance, in the partnership, we were quite proactive in reaching out to people who work in the professions, in mm -hmm. the field, people, you know, industrial partners, but also even working with community groups. Yeah, exactly. um, because we're based in the city centre and we have a city centre <laughs> campus, um, you know, you, you do feel like the work that's going on in the university is part of the wider work of society. And yeah. we're very much integrated with kind of community projects. Yeah. Um, I also think the fact that we're you know, benefiting from the new campus in Grange Gorman and the facilities that are coming online. And I think that's a great experience for students to have, to have access to those uh, really world class facilities. Mm. That's true. I think our, our students always comment on the fact that they're embedded in the city and they enjoy being in the city and, you know, relating to, to other student groups around the city and so on. Any other thoughts from Pierce or Alan on that? The, I suppose what, what I might just, sorry, Alan, in terms of the the university, while it is new university, it it uh, it's steeped in history and as a technological university, the history is there as the technology, and we're mm. we we're cognizant of that history in 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 dealing with the you know the bricks and mortar, the timber and the concrete of the what we do, um, but with a view to the future and developing and innovating in those technologies to to bring them. Up to the up to date, basically, and to deal with issues like you know, uh, carbon and and energy and other things that are at the forefront of everybody's conscious at the moment, and how to be ready for that when the student graduates. Mm. That's true. That's the I suppose the planet part of the um, uh, the school strategic intent or the university strategic intent going forward. Absolutely. Alan, you were going to come in and there. I was just thinking it's a, an interesting and exciting time to be part of this new young university. Uh, we're mm. literally here to watch it grow and develop mm. and uh, we're finding our feet and developing new systems, new methods, new teaching and uh, our experience and our experience and engagement with industry is growing and you no, know, the fact it, it, it's all happening now and it's moving and it's moving fast. So mm. it is a very interesting time to be a student in the TU Dublin. Mm. Great. 
that's very nice. Yeah, that's absolutely true. It's it's kind of it's young and uh, it's exciting. Um, I'm, I might move the discussion a little bit now more closely towards the school because we've talked about the university um, and our connections with it, but the school is quite uh, specific and might be a bit unusual within the university because we teach in a variety of probably very different ways from other schools and you know students coming in from second level education might be fully aware of that so I might ask you to talk a little bit about, about the, the very specific ways that we teach in the school mm -hmm. and why we find that interesting. Um, Miriam would you like to, yeah. to come in and well, to start? As you say Kevin I teach in the architecture program and I teach mostly at, in first year and what students enjoy most about first year and what they get very excited about and um, is the studio culture. We, we base our teaching around the idea of studio where students work on problem solving within the studio where there are design projects that students work individually or in groups and there are other more traditional means of teaching lecture based and seminar based teaching but the studio culture is what people generally enjoy the most and get very excited about and it's quite different form of learning than second level education. Um, with that there are, you know alongside that studio teaching we have site visits and field trips students take international trips but also quite a lot of out and about in the city visiting buildings so there's a lot of first hand mm. learning and observation um, students have opportunities to travel on erasmus and with quite good exchange pro programs set up um, i think key to that is the if if you enjoy making things solving problems investigating things i mean there's a real um mm. it's a real investigative culture of learning um, cool. which is very enjoyable I would say and, and that's the thing that we get the most positive feedback about. That's great thank you thanks very much Miriam. Um, Seema you teach yeah. at the other end of the, the program. Yeah and I also taught you know that's the thing about us is that we also teach across disciplines across the school I've also taught in technology and thoroughly enjoyed that and what I what I think is really unique about our school is the fact that we understand how to um, make an environment or how to teach to uh, um, nurture creativity and like uh, Miriam was um, as, uh, explaining about experimentation we like to be able to encourage students to be innovative and the kind of environment that we have between the studio and the kind of subjects that feed into that as well as the peer learning as well as the discussions with tutors informal and formal discussions all of that adds to that kind of creative pot that allows students to uh, first of all enjoy what they're doing and through that enjoyment be curious and want to find out more and inevitably what we like to see is innovation to happen at education level at third level so that's what that's what I think is unique about our school. Thanks uh, very much Seema. Mm -hmm. that, that culture of the studio is very interesting isn't it because mm -hmm. it's where, where students help each other you know they develop a very strong bond I think over the years of their education in, in studio yeah. you know from borrowing bits of equipment from each other in first year to actually working together on projects and you know providing critiques of each other's projects Ooh. and so on as they move through the school so it's a really kind of strong part of what we yeah. do in the school. I also think um, there's a yeah. very direct relationship between the the students and the teachers, which yeah. is also maybe yeah. slightly different than some other programs where we know students by their first name, we get to know them very well because there's a lot of one on one teaching and small yes. group yes. teaching. So there is a kind of collective energy in that and a collective enterprise and there isn't this distinct separation between teachers and, and students like I think that mm -hmm. builds a really nice supportive atmosphere. Mm. That's right. So it's not always interacting through formal lectures, say at a distance. It's mm. more kind of collaborative yeah. work. Yeah. yeah. I wonder there might be some overlap with the other programs then. Yes, yeah. or Alan, uh, would you? Uh, yeah. Likewise, um, I agree with uh, Seema and Miriam in terms of that kind of collective energy that develops. I mean, uh, I teach on the Sustainable Timber Technology Program, and um, quite a lot is based around the workshop and the timber workshop and the students. Yeah experiential learning and they're getting hands on and the idea of making building doing and uh, being able to innovate and create uh, it all happen within that space as well so um, we, we also within that space sample experiments and um, just mm. really get to know the material that we uh, is embedded in our program and the application and uses of that material as we go out into the wider world so it is heavily workshop based and uh, very enjoyable and like that you really get to know the students and the different people uh, within that. 
It's, it's probably quite similar I'd say in technology is it Pierce? If we yeah in, in architectural begin. technology it is studio based and, and that studio becomes the, the student's place at the end of the day as an individual and as a group they, that becomes their their home if you like in there and they work through it and it just kind of identifies them with part mm -hmm. of what they're doing and they're able to work together as a group more so in, in that reality and also mm -hmm. the um, the collaboration amongst themselves, it goes outside that to, to collaboration with other courses, with the architecture, with some of the, the trades mm -hmm. and, and, and bringing in that experience. We have all that experience just outside our door in mm -hmm. the university. So it's there to use and to, to bring those experts in. Uh, the same with, um, you know, engineering, whether it's structural or mechanical, electrical, we have those resources and, and they feed in. And it's good for the student as well to not be looking at the same faces all the time, to bring somebody new in, mm -hmm. introduce them to it. And, and we bring practice, practicing professionals in as well and give them a different view on things, review their drawings and, and talk them through stuff and present what their work might be, as well as getting them onto a site uh, to see how buildings are assembled, how they're put together and the, the realities of it. So they have a better understanding of what's necessary in their work to accomplish the built uh, project at the end of the day. Mm. Um, and then by the time they get to first to third year, we have um, practice placement where they get yeah. experience in a practice to actually work with those groups. So that, that group learning and uh, that interaction all the way through feeds into that practice placement as well as their future careers because that's the way we all work as teams at the end of the day. So it's quite a quite a, a rounded experience for the whole lot, you know. Yeah, great. Great. Thank you um, all. I mean, it, you're making me want to go back and start <laughs> studying <laughs> again. It all sounds so rich and I, I know you know how rich it is from, from teaching in it and we could talk about it all at great length, I think, but unfortunately we're kind of curtailed by time. So I'm going to have to call the discussion to a close now. Thank you very much for taking time to come along Thank today and partake in the discussion. And I no know problem. that your insights, they'll be very useful for people who are uh, thinking of applying to our programmes. So thanks all again. Thank you all. Thank Take you. Care. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.